Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren of course and today I'm going to do a video that I haven't <laughs> haven't done this one yet and I've been trying to put this together for a while now. But I'm actually going to compare the VAC 100 uh, chamber sealer that I really love and I use and I actually use this the most. And we're going to compare it to a couple other chamber sealers that are in the same price range, in the same market. If you're in the market for a basic chamber sealer for use at home or for small commercial use, you're going to want to see this one because I'm going to compare it against the Meet Your Maker oil-based chamber sealer. So I'll be right back and we're going to start off with the Meet Your Maker oil-based chamber sealer. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys. So let's just we're gonna uh, do a little rundown and comparison between these two units here. This is a Meet Your Maker. It's a ten and a half inch seal bar oil-based pump. It's their main chamber sealer. That's an oil-based pump uh, based. It's not the dry pump. So this retails for right at seven ninety nine. So right about the same price as the uh, Back One Hundred from JVR. Sorry, it's getting a little windy out here on my deck. But um, like I said, so they're the same price point, oil-based pumps, but there are a lot of differences and similarities. So we're gonna point out the obvious ones right away. Okay, so first of all, you can tell the meet your maker is taller. So by a good three and a half or four inches. So if you're putting this on a countertop in your kitchen or some other place inside and you need this on your countertop for daily use, it's lower profile, so you can fit it under a cabinet really well and still be able to use it. Whereas this, you might have a problem with it hitting the lid, hitting the uh, cabinets, and really um, not fitting on the cabinet as well as you uh, want it to, the countertop. So that's the main uh, thing you can look at right away. Another thing is, since it is a lot taller, it is a little shorter as well. So this is, of course, the VAC 100. It is about two inches longer and that means your chamber is actually a little bit bigger in here um, i'm going to go into the different depths of the interior and the chamber size there is a little bit of difference there but i think it's negligible compared to some of the other benefits they're both oil-based pumps the pumps are pretty much the same power so one doesn't have a stronger pump than the other they're both oil based which means you can change the oil and the pump's going to last a lot longer. It is a stronger pump than a oilless or dry pump and like I said it will last longer because you can get the moisture out of the pump by changing the oil occasionally like you're supposed to. So they both have the same um, type pumps. One of the things with the VAC 100, it does not have an analog, uh, an analog pressure meter like you can see here on the meet your maker it does have a digital one and it's right on this little LCD screen now it is a small LCD screen on the top and you can still uh, it still does measure the amount of pressure inside the vacuum sealer when it's sealing it's just not a big old analog dial like on the front of the meet your maker one of the things the vac 100 has that the meet your maker doesn't is it actually has nine extra slots for uh, your own pre-made um, pre programs. So you can actually set this up with nine different uh, pre-program settings. So you can set different vacuum times, different seal bar times, and different cooling times for whatever you're doing. So for instance, I have my little chart that I put on here for my different sealer settings. And I have some on here for uh, Things that are more delicate, so I want less vacuum time. Things that with mylar or retort bags that need a longer sealing time, and then I have some stuff where I'm where I'm using larger bags that I want a longer seal, a longer vacuum time. So you can actually program all these different settings in up to nine different slots, and just go ahead and go to that program and hit start, and it's going to run that program. The tenth slot on here is actually a oil cleaning function of the pump that the meet your maker does not have. So what it'll do is you run that 
I would say run it every, depending on how often you use your chamber sealer, at least once a month. And what it's going to do is going to run a cycle and it's going to try to get as much water out of your oil, out of your pump as possible. So it's actually going to save you um, some, save your oil and save your pump uh, from getting moisture in it and getting rust inside there. So it's going to actually let your pump last a lot longer by having that feature. Like I said, that's your last uh, program setting in there. It's built in. It's going to clean your oil. Your meter maker does not have that. So um, as far as the other settings go, so they're, they're pretty much very similar. Um, the only thing with the meter maker, you can see that you have a little, just like on your vac masters and other chamber seals of the type, your um, lid automatically stays open unless you lock it down with the uh, with the little clip here. So it's automatically spring loaded to open up. The reason why is when you want this thing to start, it, it's engaged by when your, your hinge is showing, uh, it's engaging the uh, device inside the uh, sealer to make sure that it's on. I'll just go ahead and show that. We're gonna hit start. Turn it on first. We're gonna hit start. And that's going to go ahead and run a cycle. And as soon as it's done running the cycle, your lid's going to pop open. You can hear it's kind of kind of noisy. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Let it pop open. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is why this stays open. You're going to want to shut that off before you close it because if you have this on and you close your lid it's automatically going to run a cycle so you want to have that down now with the vac 100 this actually does the same thing it engages when you close the lid just like that but it doesn't pop open all the way it, it doesn't really need to it's going to pop open just enough to shut it off but it doesn't pop open all the way it's not spring loaded uh, really heavy to pop all the way open like that. We're going to go ahead and hit stop on here. And both of these have a stop function, so if you're in the middle of a process and you want it to uh, stop, you can just hit stop and it's going to go ahead and stop the process. So as you can see, it, it is spring-loaded. It will stay open, but it doesn't need to stay all the way open. You can actually have it to right about here, about an inch or so open. And it won't trigger the uh, trigger the pump until it's actually you push it down all the way, and then you hold it there for a second, and then the vacuum starts to pull, and then it will start the process. So we're going to get a little closer up here so I can show you some of the controls. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I wanted to get them a little closer together and a little closer up here so you can see all your um, controls on the back 100 are right up here on this top strip, and you got your power on and off. So you just shut that off. It also has a power button on the back that you can turn on so you can engage your controls up here. It's got a stop uh, button here. So if you're in the middle of a uh, cycle and you, for some reason, it's bubbling over or whatever, it's liquid, and you want it to stop, you just hit stop. For your settings, this is how you control all your different settings. So you hit settings and it'll bring up your first setting. Then you hit settings again. It'll, it'll uh, cycle through all the way to up to nine to ten settings and then you can change all the different functions by uh, using the up and down arrows and all that. Uh, if you just want to run your pump, now like I said the VAC100 also comes with an accessory hose and you can buy other accessories like a three gallon uh, pot that you can do mason jars and stuff in and that it will actually come with a hose that connects to your vacuum port here and you can actually use it with other vacuum seal type uh, canisters as well. They do, it does come with some canisters or you can buy some extra canisters. So it does come with an accessory uh, hose and accessories as well you can buy. The Meet Your Maker does not. It doesn't come with any kind of accessory port or hose. So that's another thing the VAC100 has over the Meet Your Maker. So all your controls are right up here. Like I said, you got your LCD panel here that's got your uh, 
pressure gauge and all that on there and that's all your information is going to be on that little LCD screen. Now on your meet your maker you got your analog pressure gauge which you're going to watch that peg all the way out when it's done with the cycle. Your on and off button and it's going to pretty much uh, have your power here and then also you have your start so you're going to hit your start button when you want to run your cycle. Also you can just seal a bag if you wanted to just seal a bag instead of running a full cycle. Let's pop this open. Won't let you do anything unless you pop the lid open. So you pop your lid open. Now it's got your vacuum time. You can adjust your vacuum time on here. Um, like I said, there's no preset uh, slots in here. So you pretty much every time, if you want to change something, you're going to have to uh, change it manually. So, and it only goes by every five seconds if you see that. So you don't really have a good adjustment. You can do that by on the back uh, 100 by actually every second. So you, you get a little bit more adjustability on the back 100. So let's just say we wanted to do 50, 50 second back time. Then we're going to go to, to the seal time. We can change that as well. Same thing. And it's every half second. So you got one and a half, two, two and a half, three. You can adjust that for your seal time. So if you're going to do mylar bags or uh, retort bags, you can actually do that, but you got to do it at a higher sealing time so it actually, um, the heat seal actually uh, seals those bags up. So then you just go ahead and run your, set, uh, run your uh, program. So now if you wanted to just do your seal, like I said, you would hit the seal button and that would just seal the bag. It wouldn't run a vacuum. So that's it as far as the adjustability and the settings go on the Meet Your Maker. Like I said, you do have these pre-programming options here on the back 100 plus the oil cleaning program on here as well. Don't have that on the Meet Your Maker. All right, guys, I'm going to go into the um, inside the chamber here and kind of show you that and we'll be right back. All right, so let's uh, get into the nitty gritty. The seal bars are pretty much the same size. So neither, neither one of these has any kind of advantage over the other. They both come with some kind of bag clip. These have the little black clips that you would slide the bottom of your bag in to hold your bag open. The VAC 100 does come with two um, spacers to fill up some of your chamber space if you're doing smaller bags uh, so that you don't have to uh, run a longer seal time. It'll actually save you time on pulling the uh, vacuum and also will uh, makes it easier for smaller bags or thinner bags gets them up closer to the seal bar so it does come with these two as well like I said it does have this uh, accessory port that you use with the accessory hose that comes with the VAC 100 as well so you can use uh, canisters and the big three quart or yeah three gallon uh, mason jar sealer as well now the VAC 100 does have a little bit of a a divot here in the bottom and it, it is made out of hard plastic so just so you can see that it's not made of metal here it's really hard thick plastic but it does have a divot here so you can actually put some smaller mason jars in there the height of this chamber is right at four and a half inches so pretty much a four inch mason jar you can put right in the middle here and vacuum seal it as well a bigger size roast and all that are always going to fit in here and like I said if you have smaller items you put your filler plates in and um, then it will reduce the air that needs to be pulled out and also gives you a, a better space for some of those thinner smaller bags that you may have so four and a half inches uh, 12 uh, 11 and a half inch bags or 12 inch bags will work fine the uh, 13 inch bags uh, this way will work fine as well. So pretty much most of your bags are gonna fit in this chamber. You won't have to worry about it. All right guys, so let's go back over to the Meet Your Maker here and kind of show you the interior of this. So it has a not as deep chamber here, but it does have a little bit of a divot. I think this is about two, two and a half inches, two and a quarter inches deep as far into the chamber itself but it has another three inches on top on the, whoops, shut that off, 
has another three or two and a half inches or three inches here on the middle part here for your um, lid. So you can put a little bit bigger. I think the total uh, measurement from the center of the lid here is right at five and a quarter inches. So it's a little bit bigger right here in the center. And then, so if you had a five inch tall mason jar, you could actually put that in there and seal that just fine. Shut that off again. <laughs> so yeah, it's a pretty much, shut it off all the way. So pretty much, you know, you got a little bit more height here in the uh, meet your maker. You do have your vacuum port here, but that doesn't come with any kind of accessory hose or anything that you can use with this. And I don't think it'll work because the, the vacuum hole here is on the side of this instead of it being on the top. So I don't know if you could actually use any kind of accessory hose with this. It does have your little clip here for your bag. So you can put the top of your bag into the clip so it doesn't shut it off all the way and then cause it to balloon, balloon up. This is, um, I think aluminum is the interior here. So it's probably cast aluminum. Both of these actually weigh the same. So they're right at 52 pounds, both of them. So they're really, one or the other isn't as heavier or um, you know lighter than the other, right at about the same. I guess because the hard plastic in the VAC 100 compared to the aluminum in here kind of makes up for the heavier lid on the uh, Meet Your Maker. Now this is actually uh, plastic on the Meet Your Maker where on the VAC 100 is actually a, a glass. This is bulletproof glass and it's a good quarter inch thick so it's pretty uh, pretty solid. So, so that's pretty much it on the interior guys. So like I said you're gonna have a little bit more room right in the center on the Meet Your Maker and that's really only going to come into play if you're doing really big pieces of meat and you need that extra you know inch or so or you're doing a mason jar and you need that extra inch in there as far as that goes the bag sizes are pretty much the same um, one's not going to be better than the other as far as being able to use the bag sizes they both do mylar and retort bags as well one of the things I want to show you guys is, is the back because that's going to be another major difference in these two units when you go to change the oil uh, or if you need to do any kind of maintenance to it. This is going to come into play big time. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got the panel off from the uh, Meet Your Maker and you can see that it does expose your pump. You do have your ability to uh, go ahead and lower this in. It does have, you see these little hydraulics here? This is actually for your lid. So it doesn't actually move any of the other parts. So this is actually where your lid actually is spring loaded here with those hydraulics. So like I was saying, you really don't have access to get in there and uh, work with any other parts. So if your pump goes or you need to go in there and change a wire out or a solenoid, you really can't do that with this one. You pretty much got to send it back. Now with the VAC 100, I'm just going to show you, I, I removed the three bottom screws with the included Allen wrench. And you just need to actually pick it up. And you can see that it's got a little brace here. You can engage the brace and you have complete access to your entire internals here. So. I can go ahead and change my pump oil out. Your little uh, pump window is on the side. As you can see over here, it's on the side there. And you got your little drain hole on the bottom. So you can have your little, uh, you can have like a funnel going through here to the bottom and your drain hole right there. And that's your window. So you can fill up your oil and you have complete access to the internals of the unit if you have to change out a pump or something like that. Sorry guys, it's starting to rain here. So I just wanted to show you that. Pretty much, that's one of the main differences in the systems. So you got complete access with the VAC 100, with the Meet Your Maker, you don't. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these back together. We're not gonna run any kind of 
comparisons as far as Tesco. They both are about the same. They're both very quiet pumps, so I'm not going to do that. The, the power of the pumps are really much the same, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I thought I would finish up just by doing another head-to-head uh, -head right here so you can see them side-by-side, -side, which one that might fit your needs. It's, uh, like I said, the height of the back 100 is actually a good um, three or three and a half, four inches shorter, so it fits better on a kitchen countertop under a cabinet, so you don't have to worry about that as well. It does have the uh, programming functions with up to nine spaces, so you can do pre, uh, pre programs. It's really simple to do. It does have the oil cleaning uh, for the pump, which um, none of these functions the meat your maker has but they both have pretty much the same strength oil based pump and the meat your maker does have that analog uh, pressure gauge which the back 100 has a digital one so pretty much that's it guys uh, no pre-programs on here you can just pretty much have to adjust everything as you go and uh, as far as the access to the back so that's it guys, that's my rundown on the difference between these two models. Same price point, like I said, you can get the VAC 100 at $7.99 if you use the code Fire and Water at checkout at jbr.com. The Meet Your Maker, they go on sale occasionally, but I think when I priced it, it was right at $7.99 as well. So as far as price goes, they're very similar. They're both gonna come with enough oil to fill your pump. They're both gonna come with the tools you need to open up the back and put it together. The VAC 100 is going to come with that accessory hose for your accessory port. Your meat and your maker is not. So they're all going to both actually come with some starter bags for you as well. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you got some information out of this. Let me know um, what you think in the comments below. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram. I will be doing another comparison with the uh, VAC packet from Websterant. Uh, here soon. It's a very similar unit to the Meet Your Maker, but there are a couple little differences. But uh, we're going to do that down the road. But thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and I'll see you on the next Fire and Water Cooking video.